Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, One and Only Pharmacy. So friends, in today's video, we cover detailed notes about semi-solid dosage forms, subject pharmaceutic second, D pharmacy second year. So friends, please watch this video till the end. Let's start. Topics cover under this video. Which topics we are cover in today's video? These are follows. Detailed study about the creams, paste, jellies, and poultices. That means their definitions, uses, examples, etc. Let's move. First, creams. What is creams? Creams are viscous emulsions of semi-solid consistency intended for application to skin or mucous membrane. That means externally. These are viscous emulsion of semi-solid consistency intended for application to skin or mucous membrane. These are the simple definition of creams. Types of creams. There are two types of creams. Aqueous creams or oily creams. In aqueous creams means O by W type that means oil in water type. Oil is a dispersed phase and water is a continuous phase. That means aqueous creams. Second oily creams. That means water in oil type. Water by oil type. In this in, uh, creams. Water is a dispersed phase and oil is a continuous phase. These are the two types of creams. Difference between cold creams and vanishing creams. Uh, mainly these questions ask in exam. Give the difference between cold cream and vanishing cream. There are five points. First point in cold cream. It is usually water by oil type of emulsion. In which in this uh, cream water is a dispersed phase and oil is a continuous phase. That means it's a oily oily cream second vanishing cream it is o by w type of emulsion it is a aqueous emulsion or cream second point of difference in cold cream it contains absorption type base such as wool fat beeswax etc in vanishing cream it contains oil by water type of emulsion these are uh, same point as like first and second third point it contains small portion of water in cold uh, cream it contains higher portion of water which is vanishing cream because of it is a oil by water type of emulsion water is a continuous phase hence water is a high proportion fourth point it is used to emollient and skin protective in cold cream in vanishing cream fourth point it is used as a skin protective and as a foundation cream for other cosmetic these are fourth point fifth point in cold cream after application it gives oily stain <coughs> because it is a oily cream in vanishing cream after application it vanishes or disappears because it is a oily cream uh, sorry it is a aqueous cream these are the difference between cold creams and vanishing creams let's move to the next point pests definition pests are semi-solid preparation for external application containing large amount of finely powdered solids that means 50 percent of solid particles are present in a paste let's see again pastes are semi-solid preparation for external application containing large amount of finely powdered solids 50 percent explanation about paste what is paste pastes contain large amount of solids hence they are very stiffy in nature their base is usually non-greasy and washable that means easily washable creams paste pastes usually contain glycerin because glycerin is a non volatile hygroscopic solvent and thus it acts as an anti-drying agent that means humectant for the paste glycerin has emollient and preservative properties hence these are the reason why we use glycerin as a, a glycerin in the preparation of pastes Classification of paste. There are many types of paste according to their basis. Let's see first pastes with hydrocarbon base. Example zinc paste, BP, etc. Second paste with water miscible base. Example magnesium sulfate paste, BPC. BPC means British Pharmacopoeia. Third type paste with water soluble base. Fourth Paste with gelatin base, unmade paste, fifth 
paste with starch base, sixth paste with tragacan base, seventh paste with cellulose derivative base, and eighth paste with solid colloidal base. These are the eight types of paste according to their basis. Next point storage of paste. This should be stored in an airtight container so as to prevent evaporation of moisture present in the paste. What is the storage of paste? They, are, they should be stored in airtight container so as to prevent evaporation of moisture present in the paste. Container, wide mouth, glass or plastic containers are and collapsible tubes. These are the containers of paste. Label for external use only, not an internal. Second, replace the cap after use. Second point, jellies. Definition of jellies. Jellies are thin, transparent, non-greasy, semi-solid preparation used for external application to the skin or mucous membrane. Types of jellies. There are two types, medicated jellies and non-medicated jellies. Uses of jellies. First use, they are mainly used on mucous membrane for their lubricant, antiseptics or semi-spermicidal jellies. Second, vaginal and contraceptive jellies are also commonly used. Explanation about jellies. Jellies are easy to apply and the evaporation of water content produces a cooling sensation to the skin. After evaporation of water, Contents remaining behind stick well to the applied area giving a protection. Preparation of jellies. Pharmaceutical jellies are usually prepared by adding a thickening agent such as tragacan, pectin in an aqueous solution to which the drug is dissolved. These are the preparation of jellies. Container of jellies. Collapsible tubes are very, for, uh, are very used for this purpose. Containers containing jellies should be well filled to minimize evaporation of water, well closed and stored in a cool place to prevent drying. Label for jellies for external use only, stored in a cool place, replace the cap after use. These are the label. Last point about the topics poultices or cataplasma. Definition of poultices. These are soft, viscous, wet masses of solid substances applied to the skin for their fermentation, that means treatment by warm moist application, action in order to give relief from pain or reduce inflammation or in some cases to act as a counter irritant. Let's see once again what is cataplasm or poultices. These are soft, viscous, wet masses of solid substances applied to skin for their fermentation action in order to give relief from pain or reduce inflammation or in some cases to act as a counter irritant. Uses of poultices or cataplasma it used as a anti-inflammatory agents. Second, it used as an analgesic. Third, it used as a counter irritant. And fourth, to draw infectious material from deceased tissue. <laughs> These are the uses of poultices or cataplasma method of application of cataplasma how cataplasma is applied poultice is heated in a dish with occasional stirring until the heat is tolerated only to back to the hand poultice is heated in a dish with occasional stirring until the heat is tolerated only to back of the hand then it is spread thickly on dressing material and applied as a hot as the patient can bear it to affected area which is sometimes first covered with muslin to facilitate removal after use. Third point, poultice must retain heat for a considerable time because they are intended to supply warm to inflamed parts of body therefore act as a counter agent. These are very simple method of application. Uh, storage of poultices stored in a tightly closed container a label for external use only example of cataplasma or poultice example of poultice keulin poultice ip what is the content of keulin poultice ip heavy keulin 5 to 7 gram boric acid 45 gram thymol 0.5 gram peppermint oil 0.5 ml 
मिथाइल सैलिसलेक टू एम एल एंड ग्लिसरीन फोर टू ग्राम दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कैओलिन देर इज अ रोल ऑफ देर इनग्रेडियंट्स और एक्सीपेंट्स केवलिन वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ केवलिन रिटेन्स हीट एंड गिवज आउट हीट स्लोली एंड यूनिफॉर्मली रोल ऑफ ग्लिसरीन हेल्प्स टू ड्रॉ इन्फेक्शियस मटेरियल फ्रॉम टिश्यूज रोल ऑफ मिथाइल सैलिसलेट एज अ एंटीडियोमेटिक रोल ऑफ थाइमोल बैक्टेरी साइड दैट मीन्स किल द बैक्टीरिया बोरिक एसिड विक एंटी माइक्रोबियल एजेंट पेपर मिंट ऑयल फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग फुल वीडियो टिल द एंड सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू न्यू ऑन द चैनल सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर फार्मेसी रिलेटेड वीडियोज थैंक यू गाइज लेट्स यू वॉट वी लर्न इन टू डेज वीडियो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पॉलिटिसिस दैट मीन्स केवलिन पॉलिटिसिस और रोल और रोल ऑफ देयर एक्सीपेंट्स स्टोरेज कंडीशंस ऑफ कैटाप्लाज्मा लेबल कंडीशंस ऑफ कैटाप्लाज्मा और पॉलिटिसिस मेथड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिसिस डेफिनेशन एंड यूजेस ऑफ पॉलिटिसिस कंटेनर ऑफ जेलिस लेबल फॉर जेलिस एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ जेलिस डेफिनेशन टाइप्स यूजेस ऑफ जेलिस स्टोरेज ऑफ पेस्ट कंटेनर लेबल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पेस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर बेसिस डेफिनेशन एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट पेस्ट डिफरेंस बिटवीन कोल्ड क्रीम्स एंड वैनिशिंग क्रीम्स क्रीम्स डेफिनेशन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ क्रीम्स देर आर टू टाइप्स एक्वेस क्रीम्स और ऑयली क्रीम्स ऑक्वेस मीन्स ऑटर इज कंटिन्यूस फेस इन ऑयली क्रीम्स ऑटर ऑयल इज अ कंटिन्यूस फेस एंड इन एक्वेस ऑटर इज अ कंटिन्यूस फेस थैंक यू गैस वी आर कवर फोर पॉइंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लाइक क्रीम्स फेस जेलिस एंड पॉलिटिस थैंक यू गैस लेट्स मीट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियोज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब और यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर फार्मेस रिलेटेड वीडियोज